I'm so glad to just uh, say hi to all of you. So yeah, uh, in today's video, we are going to install Scala on the local machine for local development. So let's just get down with it. We will quickly open, just open your browser and search for uh, Scala Lang. So click on install on this website or if you open it, just go to install tab. You can use uh, brew to install or if you don't use homebrew you can just uh, you know uh, copy this curl command so yeah we will use this curl method because everyone can use it those who have brew also and those who don't have brew if you have brew definitely go with brew so yeah just open your terminal uh, plus before going into that I just uh, wanted to show one more thing if we go to learn getting started and you see this course I using Scala installer the course I way open it in new tab it will open this website click on this installation and now here you can see Linux, Mac OS, Mac OS Preview, Windows all this so what is this program course here does it installs all Scala formatter, REPL and all other local development utilities for Scala development so you it will just make you uh, ready just uh, ready to run just ready to Scala everything just ready to function program everything so uh, what you can do you can just like you know uh, copy uh, this command from course uh, yeah so i am in my terminal i copy it as you can see uh, even the scala install is referring to this only so either you can go from here or you can just click on the install on scala and uh, alternative if you don't homebrew just copy this command i just copy pasted it here and enter everything will be now just automatically uh, you will have scala on your machine this just magic how this terminal and bash shell things are very strong on linux and mac os and on windows i'll recommend for windows for windows if you click on install you select windows it's best to use the scala installer it will again just uh, run the same script as you can see after downloading it uh, checked for everything i already had everything so it just returned me found 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 for ammonites uh, cs uh, the compiler for scala corsair scala compiler spt sptn scala formatter but if you are doing this running the script for the first time it will install everything for uh, you on your local machine and now after that you can just simply run scala hyphen hyphen version and yeah here we have scala now we have sbt and everything we have everything okay so uh, let's i'm just creating a new uh, okay let's just let me just list uh, not here not here uh, let's uh, cd to my home just a second yeah cd to my home ls okay so here i have here i have uh, cd to uh, users ls cd to uh, my user and uh, we can just uh, you know have something in some folder let's say uh, cd2 uh, desktop ls and here i have work so cd2 uh, work ls so nothing just some practice so here I will uh, just uh, run this thing you know after doing this after the Scala installation after we have seen the Scala it was just so much easy it's just magical yeah I uh, just click on learn click on getting started and uh, scroll down to create a hello world project with SPT 
so you just copy this copy this command and paste it at whatever location you want hit enter be patient it will take few minutes and after that we'll uh, run a hello world scala program guys so in the meantime we can uh, open this uh, location uh, in vs code so yeah let me go to code visual studio code and let me uh, click on open so uh, we have our own desktop work i guess it's still creating because i don't see the directory so far so yeah let's wait for uh, this thing to get completed so it's asking for names kala3 project template so yeah i am just uh, naming a uh, demo scala youtube first time setup hello a very long name but yeah you know <laughs> so template applied and uh, yeah we here we see it demo scala youtube first time hello uh, whatever so yeah you have to open the folder which contains this build.spt file so uh, yeah we just open this folder and vs code will uh, yeah trust everything and in here uh, let me show you some project structure so we have in source main main dot scala so i'll just edit few things here uh, like print allen so yeah in vs code you should have you know uh, that uh, if you search for scala in the extension section you should have install this metals plugin yeah okay scala metals you can have this and then there is scala syntax official you can have both of them installed yeah install both of them that's all okay so uh, see type ahead is working in vs code we have these two extensions we have scala on our machine okay print allen uh, so I want to print a literal so what I want to print what well, I want to print uh, uh, Scala is awesome YouTube its installation is lightning fast simple simple that's all that's all that's enough just save it and to run it in my terminal i can just simply uh, i have to you know uh, after this in the go just uh, cd uh, let me just show you just cd to this directory of your project where build.spt is situated where build.spt is situated cd to that directory as you can see we have our build.spt so we will just simply type spt command just that and remember after running this first step you have to close your terminal and reopen your terminal i'll put a, a caution in the video because i forgot to mention it at that time so spt server is started as you can see and now we can run our run command now if you simply run run it will just compile and uh, show you uh, run your main method and whatever you but if we put a colon ahead of this uh, this uh, curly symbol ahead of run we will be able to refresh our build with our source code changing so we will be able to do live so as you can see it ran and it is saying hello world i was compiled by scala3 scala is awesome youtube that's my words its installation is lightning fast simple 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 let's just change this literal here live reload is on guys use this symbol before run so we save it and let's see you see how much fast i just saved it and just changed the window and it has 
by that time in just flash it had this uh its resolution is lighting fast simple simple library is on guys use before uh, this curly simba before and for this lively reload feature during your scale up optional programming practice during uh, while learning monads while learning uh, higher order functions while learning multi list functions or whatever i mean whatever tutorial you are following this is uh, just very simple so that's all that troll 2022 mid of may scala isolation all done we are done shadow hunting so i'll see you guys in next video stay tuned and please like share comment and please subscribe to my channel thank you